Hello! Hi dolls, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is C, and this channel is all about fun feminine content, so if that's something you're interested in, please make sure you press the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. All of my social medias will be linked in the description box below, so now that you dolls know everything you need to know, let's go ahead and hop into this video. To my mans, thank you to my mans. Welcome back to another Fragrance Friday! Okay dollies, you saw the title so you know I am going to be doing my top 20 summer fragrances. It's going to include home so I'm going to share with you guys candles, I'm going to share with you guys body sprays and then perfumes. Before I begin to ramble too much out of excitement, let's go ahead and jump right into the first fragrance. I'm going to be starting out with the body sprays first, then I'll go into perfumes and I'll save candles for last because I know not everyone gets into candles. The majority of my viewers are here for the actual perfumes and body sprays. So let's Let's go ahead and get into that. So the first body spray I have here is Beach Nectar by Victoria's Secret Pink and this has a salty papaya and pink guava. You guys, this just smells super, super fruity and tropical. If you're a tropical fruity gourmand type of girly, you're gonna absolutely love this. Now, although they call it salty papaya, I don't necessarily smell like a salty sea salt smell. Uh, to me, it smells more fresh uh, fruit, like sweet, fresh fruit. In my opinion, it's not super sweet, but it's the perfect combination. I absolutely love wearing this as an everyday scent and to the beach and things like that. So if you guys have not, please do go into the store and check this out. I'm not sure if they still have it, but I hope that you guys will be able to get your hands on it because it does smell really, really good. And it's definitely a favorite and a must have for the summertime. I want to let you know that I will not be doing like an in-depth review of every single fragrance that I show you. If you want to see any reviews of these fragrances, I do have a fragrance playlist with all of these fragrances here that have already been reviewed. I will link that below in the description box for you dolls so you can check the other videos. The next scent that I have here is the Strawberry Soda by Bath and Body Works. This is a fresh strawberry, bubbly seltzer, and crushed ice you guys Ooh, it smells super good I don't know if they came out with this fragrance this summer but I know I got this last summer and I believe I got it during SAS this smells like a strawberry blow pop or a like strawberry soda so it's the perfect summer scent especially if you are a sweet gourmand candy type of a girl you're gonna absolutely love this if you want to walk around smelling like a giant strawberry blow pop then this is the perfect scent for you the next fragrance i have here is sunset glow by bath and body works the fragrances in here are fresh coconut sparkling cherry seltzer and dreamy moonflower and caramelized vanilla you guys I have raved and raved and raved about this. This has been my absolute favorite freaking summer scent for so freaking many years. So I definitely suggest if you're one of those girls who are into more of like a romantic type of scent, very much vanilla, soft, caramel. Um, it just reminds me of a summer night, in my opinion. That's just what it reminds me of. Um, but it does have a strong coconutty scent and you do smell a little bit of that cherry seltzer but it's not overpowering it just smells to me like caramelized coconut and vanilla and it is just a tad bit musky and i think that's coming from the dreamy moonflower it just it just reminds me of a sexy night on the beach you guys and if you have not tried this please get your hands on it bath and body works i believe does keep this scent all year round so definitely try and see if you can get it. it might be in different packaging but it should be the same fragrance notes so let me know if you dolls do pick it up and what you think about it next up on the list is pink pineapple sunrise you guys have heard me rave about this fragrance as well and it has not changed last year this was one of my favorite summer scents this year it's one of my favorite summer scents too so the fragrance notes in here is sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sun dried and nectar it says sweeten your day as you watch the pink sunrise kiss the horizon welcome to paradise and girl that's all need to be said okay this just smells so freaking good you guys 
strong sense of pineapple but not just like a tart tangy pineapple it's like a super sweet pineapple i don't know if you guys have actually tried pink pineapple there are like it does exist like it's a thing so if you guys haven't please do try it out because it is so good it's super sweet um it kind of reminds me of like a mix between a watermelon and a pineapple even though the flavor is definitely pineapple like it doesn't taste like watermelon at all i think just because the insides are pink anyways not to get off on a tangent but this smells so freaking good definitely a tropical fragrance if you are dreaming of that sexy nice day on the beach this is gonna get it to you man this smells just like a tropical like martini or something like that on a beach it smells so freaking fruity and good so nice and i do love to wear this as like an everyday scent i wouldn't call this like a date night scent you could but if your partner likes this type of stuff then yeah you could wear it on a date but for me this is just more of like a daytime scent like an everyday type thing i wear this running the errands and things like that also fun for the beach as well so check it out if you guys have not oh you guys now this scent is the bomb like it is it is she ate she eats she eats every freaking time it never fails me this is a waikiki beach a coconut by bath and body works the fragrance notes in here are tropical white coconut salt water breezes and sun bleached woods you guys if you want to smell like a pina colada, then you want to smell like this, baby. I've also heard of other girls saying that it reminds them of suntan lotion. I don't, I don't go tanning, and so I don't use suntan lotion, so I don't know exactly what that smells like. But this just, to me, smells so fruity, so tropical, definitely coconutty. I also smell a bit of pineapple in there as well. Even though it did not mention that, I do smell that. It's definitely like a fresh coconut watery scent but it's also super sweet i want to mix this too i know i'm spraying a lot of things oh, babe this is a must have if you don't have this for the summer babe i don't what are you doing with your life do you even have a life if you don't if you don't have this you don't have this and you don't have this in your body spray collection for the summer i comment below what you're doing with your life because if you're doing something else, I need to know what you're doing. I need to be on what you're doing if you don't have this. Because you're on another level. Okay, dolls. So, last of body spray is a Boardwalk Taffy by Bath & Body Works. And the fragrance notes in here is Spun Sugar, Pink Berries, and Whipped Vanilla. You guys, I don't know why they call this... Um, boardwalk taffy because it doesn't smell like the taffy the candy definitely smells more of like cotton candy but like a uh um how do, would you say like a more tart cotton candy not even tart like a more like a strong pop of cotton candy is what i get but it just smells really really nice this is my backup that i'm sharing with you guys the one i actually have is like almost gone the one i'm using up right now so i didn't want to show you guys that one plus the lid is missing which is embarrassing but yeah this is so freaking nice it's super sweet it's also a light scent you do have to spray it a few times but if you're a gourmand girly who loves like candy scents but you don't want it to be overpowering it because sometimes i've gotten people saying oh you know i don't like to wear candy like scents because it comes off as very juvenile so if you're looking for something that is light and airy but still kind of gourmand candy this is your girl i've gotten tons of compliments when i wear this from men women all ages so i think this is a fun favorite i think as long as it's not too strong or overpowering then it's fine but for me girl shower me with this stuff okay okay shower me i want to smell like this all the time this literally reminds me of like walking through like a carnival or on a boardwalk with a spool of cotton candy that's literally what this reminds me of i'm obsessed with it if you dolls don't know and you're new here i do absolutely love cotton candy scents so this for me was just like at the top of my bracket and i absolutely love it okay dolls so that was all of the body sprays now i'm gonna go ahead and hop on over into perfumes you guys i do want to make a quick little comment in between here to let you dolls know that just because i show you something that's my favorite doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be like completely used up i've gotten comments before of people asking me like if it's your favorite why why is the bottle still full I have a lot of perfume, you guys, and a lot of body sprays, like an unnormal amount. So there, in no way can I use up all of this stuff 
in a logical time period so I use a little bit of it as I go and I kind of just take turns with the ones that I have but I'm trying to figure out more ways and different types of fragrance content that I can come up with you guys so it's not an unhealthy so it's not me just purchasing a large amounts of perfume unhealthily and like not even having a place to store it um but yeah so if you see like the perfume bottles like almost full one or two things either one I'm showing you my backup and I have another bottle of it that I actually use or two I probably haven't used as much of it as I would like because I do have such a large collection so I just want to throw that out there in case I get any questions about that. But let's go ahead and get into the perfume. The first perfume I have is by Moschino and this is Bubblegum Toy 2 perfume. This perfume, you guys, to me just smells like bubblegum and flowers. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not a floral girl. So the floral in this is kind of like, uh, we didn't really need it. You could have you could have laid down on that. You could have just sit in the back, sit and take a back seat. But they for some reason decided to add flowers in it which kind of makes me teeter-totter and feel like I want to say it's a spring scent because it definitely could be a spring scent but I have been wearing this this summer because I love that bubblegum scent. I feel like bubblegum is something you either do completely wrong and it just smells like nat like medicine or you do it right and it smells just like bubblegum and when it mixes with your natural oils it definitely pops so much more. So I really do like the way that they did the bubblegum note in this. Again I would have hoped they would have not added the flowers in for that reason like I don't absolutely love it but to be honest with you guys this has been a favorite of mine this summer because of that bubble gummy note I do have a Bath and Body Works bubble gum um, body spray but other than that I don't have any other fragrances that are bubblegum scented and I was really into the bubblegum scent this season or for summer this year so this just ended up being my top pick and also when I pair this with like vanilla based lotions and candy based lotions it does smell more of the bubblegum than the floral it does kind of you know hide the floral a little bit so that's what I would suggest to you dolls who are like contemplating it because of the floral but I absolutely have been loving this for the summer it's a fun packaging as well um, definitely would suggest checking it out if you dolls have not my next favorite perfume is a bombshell sun drenched by Victoria's Secret absolutely love the bombshell line you dolls know I have reviewed so many Victoria's Secret perfumes because I absolutely think that their formulas are great their potency is great and they they do make really good fragrances you guys this one smells oh this one just smells sexy okay oh you okay this is like Waikiki Beach coconut but sexier it's like the sexy version of Waikiki Beach coconut obsessed with this absolutely love it definitely tropical you're just smelling a lot of tropical fruits coconut uh, pineapple papaya it's like an aquatic note in there as well it's like a fresh I don't know it just reminds me of a sexy Victoria's Secret Amazonian model walking through while eating papaya on the beach like I, I don't know what else to tell you guys but if you want to smell like a sexy tropical fruit salad on a hot summer day babe this is your girl she is so freaking nice and the potency on this and the longevity on this mm -hmm, top tier the next fragrance I have here is a new fragrance. This is the first time I actually tried anything from this fragrance line. This is Peach Cello by um, Urban Outfitters. This is a hair and body mist. So I'm sorry that I'm putting it in perfumes because technically it's a body mist. Um, but I do store with my perfumes and because it's in like a little glass bottle I just I put it with my perfumes but this smells so good you guys and I love this scent because I actually have no peach fragrances in my collection outside of this one so absolutely love it and it doesn't smell like that artificial peach which girl I don't mind like a peach gummy ring type scent but this smells like the real peach like a fresh peach like in the rainforest there's a green note to it I don't know how to explain it but there's a fresh green note to it that just makes it smell so like authentic it just smells like a real actual peach and not that fake artificial peach smell um and it's just so oh it just smells so good like i want to drink it you guys if you haven't checked this one out it's by urban outfitters please do go and check it out especially if you're a peach girly and a peach fan i believe it's like 
$26, so not bad at all. Okay, so the next perfume on my list you guys will not be surprised about. It is Pink Sugar by Aqualina. You guys have heard me rave about this fragrance, and I don't think I'll ever stop raving about it unless I've been waiting for another perfume to come along and trump this, and it just hasn't yet. Um, I have had some come pretty close, but they haven't trumped it. This smells like cotton candy. It's just that simple. It smells like cotton candy. Um, I know that there's a lot of mixed opinions about this scent. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people don't smell cotton candy. They smell licorice, a whole bunch of different things. To me, on my skin, this smells like cotton candy, you guys. If you haven't tried it, please do check it out. This is a true, true, true deep dense gourmand super super sweet absolutely love it please do check it out if you haven't pink sugar by aqualina okay dolly so the next perfume is ambery cherry by dossier yes this is one of my favorite summer fragrances a dossier perfume can you believe i never thought i would say that but it's definitely a top tier. This smells so freaking good. I will read the fragrance notes for you guys. The top notes are cherry, almond, and cinnamon. The middle notes are clove, rose, jasmine, and plum. And the base notes are Peru balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. Y'all, to me, it just smells like cherry, almond, cinnamon, and vanilla. I don't even smell all those florals. Ooh! This is supposed to be a dupe, I believe, for Tom Ford's Cherry Bomb, Cherry Night, Cherry something, girl. But it smells so freaking good. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I just think the way that that cherry and that cinnamon marries together is so freaking sexy. I also feel like this is more of a unisex type of perfume, male or female. This is going to smell sexy on you no matter who you are. And I just absolutely love it for that. For me, this is like the perfect summer date night scent. I've been wearing this when I go out and I've been getting tons of compliments and I absolutely love it on me. Like when I put it on me, I just keep smelling myself. Like I can't stop smelling myself absolutely love it do check it out i know that dossier has tons of great deals and if you don't like their perfume you can return it like hello like who does that the next perfume i have for you dolls is a sweet tooth by sabrina carpenter this packaging just tells you everything this smells like a candy store you guys not gonna even hold you <sighs> smell good that's all I can tell you like if you want to be eaten up just wear this it smells so freaking good this is a gourmand scent you guys it doesn't even really smell like bakery type notes it's more of like true candy like walk in a candy store and this is what you're gonna smell I'm absolutely obsessed with this fragrance it's so warm so inviting it feels like candy is just wrapped around you in a giant coat I am screaming on the inside for the packaging and also for the scent. I definitely, definitely highly suggest this fragrance. If you have not tried it, please go girl and check it out, especially if you're a gourmand girly. <laughs> this is banging, okay? Okay, dolls, so my next favorite perfume is Cloud by Ariana Grande. You dolls know I love Ari. I mean, I know there's some controversy going on around her right now, and I don't even want to talk about it, but... Um, she looking kind of shady. I don't, I don't like what I'm seeing. Um, but we're not going to talk about that in this video. We're just going to focus on fragrance. Um, this is Cloud by Ariana Grande. And I hadn't been wearing this, you guys. I have totally forgot because this was in the back of my collection. Like I told you guys, I have a lot of fragrances. So I really have to go through and pull them out to see what I have sometimes when I'm looking for something to wear. And I picked this one up probably about, I want to say, two weeks ago. And I was like, why do I keep forgetting about this? I keep forgetting about Cloud, you guys. And I don't know why because this... This, this, oh, this is bomb. Okay, this is, mmm, this is just so freaking good. It smells like, to me, gummy worms or gummy bears. That's what it smells like to me. I mean, there's tons of other notes in there. You guys can go watch my initial review of it. And I might do an update. Well, I will be doing an updated video of the Ariana Grande fragrances and comparing them and letting you guys know what I think and ranking them for you. But... This is just good and it's a perfect everyday scent every time i smell this it just makes me smile i don't know why but it makes me smile inside it could be the packaging but i swear to you every time i smell this it just makes me super super happy and that's why i love this fragrance so much i just feel like it's perfect for all ages and i love it for that it's just fun and inviting and 
it's perfect for summertime so the last perfume i have here is the yara perfume by la Taffa. i recently reviewed this perfume dolls and i just want to put a blanket disclaimer here i did say the fragrance notes wrong in that video however my ranking of the the perfume stayed the same even after i looked over the fragrance notes i was like yeah i still feel pretty much the same way i'll probably do an updated video on this fragrance just going over the notes um and letting you dolls know my new ranking but i pretty much felt like it was the same the notes were just a little bit different but you guys this smells so this is fire 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 this is sexy and fire i would say this is the perfect summer date night scent it's definitely a gourmand scent so pretty so warm so sweet so sexy i, I can't even say anything else about it 10 out of 10 would recommend it's so good those were all of my perfumes and body sprays and now let's go ahead and hop on over to my favorite summer home fragrances these are all candles you guys i have wallflowers but i don't really use my wallflowers except for like around fall and winter i don't know why it's like that but i definitely don't really even have any summer wallflower scents which is weird but let's just go ahead and hop into the candles the first candle i have here is a pineapple a mango I don't know if you guys can see that so the first candle i have here is a pineapple mango and it smells exactly the name of it uh, it just smells so freaking good you guys it smells like pineapple and mango but it smells like um, a fruity cocktail on the beach and it's just so good i've been burning this so much i've been switching between this one and the lemon basil i think it is lemon something i've been swapping between these two out and it's been taking a really long time to burn like but anyways it smells super sweet but also very tangy and i absolutely love it if you are a fruity girl you're gonna absolutely love this it's gonna make your house smell like a fun summer cocktail on the beach the next candle i have for you dolls is pink shore by bath and body works look at the packaging it's like a pink marl this is actually what i want my countertops to be in my house when i get one but the fragrance notes in here are candy island berries soft rosy dunes lemon sugar ocean sea mist with natural oils shut up i just love this there's something so nostalgic about this scent too and i'm not entirely sure what it is but baby i am hypnotized baby i am hypnotized by this i don't even know what to tell y'all this smells so freaking good just smell it smell it girl i want you to smell it it smells so freaking good i'm pissed that y'all can't smell through the camera Ooh. I don't even have any words for this candle. It smells so fresh, so fruity, and so crisp. <sighs> I love this candle. Absolutely love it. I love it so much that I've just been taking the lid off and letting the scent come out because it's so potent. I haven't even burned it. But it fills the entire apartment every time I take the lid off. So why burn it? So the next candle I have is going to come as no surprise to you. I've talked about this candle before in previous videos and this is a pink lemonade. This candle is the perfect summer candle scent. It literally smells like sweet, juicy, pink lemonade and fresh crushed ice. Let me read the fragrance notes for y'all. So it is a sweet strawberry puree, acai berries, fresh lemon sugar with essential oils. That lemon and them berries, baby, hit me one more time. I'm obsessed. And look at how pretty the wax is. You guys probably can't tell in the camera, but it's this bright, um, hot pink, like a Barbie pink color so freaking obsessed with this it's just so good again another fruity cocktail -y drink that is so potent you literally can just leave the lot the what am i saying you literally can just leave the lid off and all of the fragrance will just fill up your entire apartment space no need to burn it i haven't been burning it i love when candles are like this because it just saves the longevity of the candle when you don't have to burn it and you can just let it 
come out the scent come out naturally and then later on when the scent starts to die down you can start to burn it you know what i mean it also the next candle that i have for you is a watermelon lemonade y'all already know this smells like this smells like to me like that watermelon um bubblicious but you do get like a tart lemonade scent in the background but mainly that watermelon is just giving me watermelon bubblicious the perfect summer scent in my opinion for the home again i'm giving you guys like fruity cocktail-y type sets, but that's just my vibe. You guys comment below and let me know what's your vibe for summer. Do you like a fruity summer scents? Do you like fresh aquatic summer scents? Do you like all out gourmand scents? Or are you, are you a floral girl in the summer? And what floral? Let me know in the comments below. I would be interested to know. But the fragrance notes in here is watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon with essential oils. I can't. It's a must-have, okay? All of these items I'm showing you guys here today is, for me, a must-have. Definitely going to be repurchasing these items. So, yeah. So, the next candle I have is a Strawberry Pound Cake by a Bath & Body Works. Another obsession of mine. It's just the perfect, sweet summer scent. I also feel like it's perfect for spring as well. Oh. It smells like a strawberry shortcake or like strawberry cupcakes. Like it smells like it's baking in my kitchen right now. I can taste it. This is making me hungry. Ooh. I'm gonna see if my sister wanna do an ASMR video tonight cause I'm getting hungry and I need to eat some treats cause this is making me hungry. Anyways, the fragrance notes in here are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake and whipped cream. So you guys can see it smells exactly like the name. Um, I love the packaging on this. I also have this in the body care as well. So definitely one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works of all time. <laughs> Last but not least, you guys, I have one of my absolute old school, like this is my ride or die summer candle. Like I just love her. This is a Pink Apple Punch by Bath and Body Works. Another drink scented candle. Y'all see where I'm going with this obsession. The fragrance notes in here are crisp apple, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals. All I can say is fruity cocktail on the beach, y'all. Again. But you get that fresh melon. It's the melon. It's the melon in this for me. The melon and that apple and then the super sweet sugar. Ugh. I can't, like... This is killing me. Again, this is another candle and another fragrance that is super, super strong. I'm sorry about the cars outside. Um, but this is another candle that is super, super potent that you can just take the lid off and it will definitely fill up your apartment. You don't necessarily have to burn it, which is what I've been trying to do. And it's been really going great for me. Absolutely love this. I wish the wax was pink, but who gives a crap? I the scent just smells so good I can't. I wish they made pink apple punch in a body care because I that would hit. That would hit so hard. Ooh! I love it. All right, dollies. That was my top. Okay, dollies, that was my top 20 summer fragrances. I hope you dolls enjoyed. I hope this gives you some inspiration of fragrances that maybe you might want to try out and give it a try. If you do try anything, please let me know in the comments below what you think about it. If you already have some of these items, let me know if you're loving it, if you're hating it, what you think about it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's really, really important. First of all, subscribing is free, okay? It's free. Like, we don't, we don't, creators don't even charge to view the content it's free girl so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell notification it lets the algorithm and the creator myself know what type of content you guys want to see so yeah i love you dolls don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye bye girl